I'm gonna go straight into Musasea. And what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get rid of the Time Gazer for Magical Abductor! Thank you, Time Gazer! Time Gazer now equals Magical Abductor! Bro! Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, I'm in an amazing mood. Why? Because Penbest Deck, baby! That's why! The new Dormy Core link is broken! I figured out a way how to abuse the new Dream Record link. And let me tell you, that card is a lot better than I thought it was. It abuses Magical Abductor multiple times in the same turn. And stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out exactly how. If you guys are ready for this video, smash the subscribe button. Because when we hit 45,000 subscribers, I will release the sealed only pendulum we talked about. I just finished it and it's absolutely incredible. I spent so much time editing it. So smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and make sure to go on tripgaming.com. Get your beautiful trip gaming play match, baby. And with that being said, it's time. It's time to showcase how to abuse the Remy Court link and abuse Magic Abductor, baby. Let's go. <laughs> And before we get into this video, I want to give a master shout out, shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and that is Exter. They provide the most slick wallets in, in the game that I've ever seen. Super slick, with a click of a button, your cards come out. I know everyone loses their wallet every now and then. They provide a tracker for your wallet as well, electronically, made in like 2050 or something. It's amazing for a dinosaur like me to feel a little more modern. So if you guys want to go get 10% off your Exter wallets, Go check it out down in the description below. I talked about it in yesterday's video, but I forgot to put a link. So now go check it out down in the description below. Absolutely amazing wallets. The pen god uses them. You should use them. With that being said, it's time to showcase you guys how to abuse the new Doremi Cord link in the best deck. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Time to showcase right now just how good the new Doremi Cord link really is. So first and foremost, I want to showcase you guys a few hands of just general pendulums. You know, you're just going to play pendulums like normal. Just completely like normal, and I want to show how seamlessly easy this card fits into our strategy. So, first thing first, obviously you want to go into your Crowley here without a normal summon, so you can get your blue boy as soon as possible. This is just basic pendulums, and that link one play for those who don't know what it is, you, this is why you play Restage. It makes all Jester Confit and Magician Souls in your deck a one card Crowley with, the, well not one card, with the Restage, but you get your value off the Restage anyways, so... Here we're going to go with knowledge, blah, blah, blah. Just typical plays here, okay? Typical pendulum plays. But here's what we do here, okay? You notice that we've, summoned, we've already summoned more than five monsters. We've summoned Jester Confit once. We've summoned Artemis twice. We've summoned Jester Confit a third time, a second time with Restage. We've summoned Crowley. We've summoned Blue Boy. That's five summons. So at this point, if I activate Servant's Effect, the opponent knows that Jackal's coming. The opponent knows Jackal's coming. He knows it. Otherwise, he's an idiot. So, if he has an Nibiru, he's using it right now. This is where you mindfuck your opponent. If they have a brain, they'll use Nibiru now because they know Jackal's coming, right? Well, this is where you actually summon up Magical Abductor. And now here's where you utilize the new Doremi Cord Link, and it's going to blow your mind just how good it actually is, and how plus it is. Look at our head. It's fucking dog shit right now. We don't have scales. We don't have anything. Well, we're going to knowledge away the secrets in hand. Okay, so we got Chrono and Desires. You know, not bad, not bad. We got an extra counter on Abductor. We get three now. We get we search Magician Souls. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. You know, we got Magician Souls. Here we go into Musaseya. Oh, Musaseya. And you're going to send the Jackal from your hand that's useless right now. And you're going to get Magical Abductor back. Do you see what you just did there? Not only are, did you plus off the Servant. Servant turned into Abductor. So it's already a plus one. Abductor turned into Magician Souls. It's already a plus two. And then Abductor, you're going to get that same Abductor back to your hand. Uh, for the Jackal that you're going to Pendulum Summon. So this Jackal, whether it's in your hand or the extra deck, is the same shit. Because this Jackal is never going in your scale. So now, you got the Abductor as well. A plus motherfucking three. And it's still not over yet. Because you're going to plus with the Abductor to make it a five. And then to top that off, you're going to plus with the souls you got. Making it a plus six, baby. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. So we got our free Magical Abductor. And now you're going to see just how good it's going to be. We got our low scale. We had no low scale. But we're not only going to get a low scale. We're actually going to get bo a board now. Look at this hand. This hand sucks dog shit. Like, this hand actually sucks dog shit. If it wasn't for this play with Musaseya, that how do you even pronounce that? Musa... Musa... Musa Ten Negates. That's what it's called. Because that's what it's going to do for us here. 
So we're going to be able to go search with the abductor to get a, a, a level 7. We already used souls to send a level 7. So if we didn't do that play, we didn't have the souls. We didn't have this master. We were ending on some sorry ass board of like jackal, like two negate pass type of bullshit board. But because of Musaseya, we're gonna do a cool play. We're gonna Celine master go masquerade up. We're gonna pendulum summon now the same master back with the jackal and the reflection. Look at our board, bro. Look, this is all because of Musaseya. All because of that one card. Absolute crashy vortex. The rest is history. Six negates, easy, easy. Seven actually. He still have a reflection in the grave. And the Mascarena and Musasea is going to turn into a Appalooza. So, or an Underworld Goddess. Whichever you want. You got Underworld Goddess in ass too. And get rid of their own card. So that's replay number one. I'm going to showcase you guys replay number two and three. Uh, uh, how it works. And it's not about a combo. It's not a combo that you use with this. All it does is it seamlessly inserts itself into the deck. To give you a free scale when you need it. Against hand traps, it's way better. Like... Now when your opponent hand traps you and you don't have scales, this card allows you to have full scales. Going second, when you have awkward hands or awkward scales, this card allows you to have the scales. It's very cool. I'm going to show you guys another replay now. Now that you guys understand the premise behind the card, you guys got to see how broken it is. I'm going to fast forward my way through this one. And if you guys are impressed, you got to smash the subscribe button, boys. And the like button, because this is some incredible... I'm doing God's work, baby. I'm bringing the best deck back into, into, the, into the world. For you guys to witness. Now, as you guys are going to see, this is actually even cooler of a replay. Because this actually really turns a shite hand into an even better one. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I want everyone to look at this. We hard drew. I'm, I swear every time I restage, I hard draw the right hand. Which is very sad, but it's all good. But, you know what? This is all good because, look, we have Time Gazer and right hand. We have a dead chrono because we have Time Gazer. This is really bad, right? This, like, really sucks. Well, guess what? I don't even care about Magician Souls at this point. We already searched Souls and Jester. I don't give a fuck about it. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to go straight into Musasea. And what am I going to do? I'm going to get rid of the Time Gazer for Magical Abductor. Thank you, Time Gazer. Time Gazer now equals Magical Abductor. Holy fucking bro. Oh, my God. Am I the only one that's, like, like my head is exploding? From how Time Gazer can turn into an Abductor. And you don't have to scale the Time Gazer. The card says, put it back from your hand. It doesn't say destroy it. So now your Time Gazer is never dead. Oh my god. Like, it's so good. Uh, it's no Electro, but I mean, it still is very, very, very helpful. Here we're going to allure. And now look at this. <laughs> like, it's so fucking good. It's just so good. And this is all because of Musaseya. Otherwise, you never had the abductor. If it wasn't for Musaseya, you are ending on some sorry-ass 3 negate board. Well, Musaseya saved your ass yet again. Let's go to another replay. The third replay now to showcase the power of this card. And, bro, it's even better when you're when you're going against the board. Because, of course, going first, Pendulum always have some form of negation. All this does is save your hand. It makes you the deck more consistent. Because now, through all your draw power, you're guaranteed scales. Do you guys get that logic there? Through all your draw power, you, like, I want to show you guys something. You see how I went Jackal there? The typical play would go Jackal. But then how would you get a scale? What would you even do? The typical play, I'm going to show you my play, okay? The typical play was Jackal. Now I'm going to show you guys what Musaseya does. Okay? Instead of Jackal, I'm going to go Abductor. Instead of that, I'm going to go into Musaseya. I'm going to get Abductor back. I'm going to... Now, I'm going to be able to search a full scale, have a Jackal before I pen summon, Jackal will negate anything to allow this play to happen, and then I'm going to be able to put, I'm going to be able to put up six negates like this. But, I'm going to re rewind this after, you, this is my play, I want to show you guys my play, okay? My play with Musaseya and Abductor just gave me six negates, with Reflection coming out as well. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five negates, sorry. Five negates with a shit hand. Now, I'm going to rewind this and show you guys what the typical play would have been. So, here's the typical play. Remember when I said most people bring up drug? Ah, I just bit my tongue. But I'm a pen god. It doesn't even fucking hurt, bro. Let's go. Now, I told you guys I would rewind it, and here we are. Most people at this scenario would go for Jackal. Remember when I said the abductor? Well, most people would go for a Jackal. What would you do in this scenario? In this scenario, what would you do? Please uh, enlighten me. You have no card for restage. You have no card for right hand. The best you could possibly do is go serve it into... Well, first off, I'll like scale... I'll activate restage, maybe, or activate right hand. To put counters or jackal. And then I'm gonna go into uh, uh, the link one with Servant of Endymion, Majesty's Maiden. And then I'm gonna knowledge away the Majesty's Maiden. And then you're gonna draw two cards. Well, 
if you go back in this video and rewind a bit, the two cards that we drew off our knowledge was Jester Confit and Spell Power Mastery. Well, the Spell Power Mastery is dead, and what the fuck's Jester Confit gonna do in this scenario? Fuck all, it'll do nothing. So the best you could possibly do here is then a Jackal Master and right hand. Because you're gonna just activate all your spells. Maybe you get a Mascarena. What the fuck's a Mascarena gonna do with a Jackal and a Master? You're gonna have to get rid of your cards. And you have the card you have to bring back with Mighty Master is itself. So, and you don't even play Unicorn. You only have Jackal Master right hand, which is your only, your only negates with nothing left. Well, like I said, when you go Abductor, you have Jackal Master and right hand. Okay, you're guaranteed right hand. You're always get basically guaranteed the Mighty Master. You already have, just by going Abductor, you already have the end board, because Souls will send the Jackal, and you have Selene Specialty. But now, Musaseya, giving you that Abductor, now offers you everything. Just because of this one Musaseya, I had to save the best for last. One Musaseya gives you Abductor, and I can't stress enough how important that Abductor is. That Abductor just got you to level 7. Our pen summon was just one monster, we just summoned one level 7. Well, it got us Vortex and got us all this. Reflection was summoned itself. Now we turned the the, uh, the Jackal Vor Mighty Master, we turned the Jackal Mighty Master into a full scales, full hand, Vortex, and Reflection. So we added a Vortex, Reflection, and a Selene to OTK them with the following turn. So, all is good base is done by Musaseya, it gives this deck base and consistency and it ensures that you're gonna get scales no matter how much you draw. Yes, drawing 10 is fantastic, but it's only fantastic if you have scales at the end. So now I'm gonna show you guys quickly the deck profile. This is the deck profile, extremely similar to the last deck profile I posted of Pure Endemian Draw. Why? Because this is just the best way to play Pendulums right now. Why change greatness? The only change is of course putting in Musaseya, which is now another Link to Elect Semi Electrum. Crowley draws two, this card fixes your scales. Utilize the both of them. Uh, but the fact that it's a Link two, you can now turn this and like a random fucking Magician Souls into a Selene. So it's not like it's it's a it's literally free. Like most of the time, this card's effect is completely free, and it lets you fix your scales when you can't. And especially good in grind games. But of course, you can't really showcase the grind game of it right now. Uh, because, you know, it's not, I'm not allowed to play it on Building Book. Uh, and then this is an extra deck. I think I saw Yuja for this. Until, uh, this card comes out, you should play Sayuja. Because you use Sayuja to ensure you get scales. But Musaseya does exactly that. So you can substitute the Sayuja with the Musaseya. And there you go. You have the, the fucking best deck. If you guys want to see more of this deck, I'll be dueling with this deck on Patreon today. So if you guys want to see some replays, uh, you go check it out on my Patreon today. And it's all in the description below. If you guys want to help support the channel... Go check out down in the description below, TriffGaming.com. We have the best playmats in the game, and we're almost sold out of the Joker, Kieran, and Iris playmats. Uh, so get yours ASAP before they sell out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button. Comment down below the best deck, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!